bypassing Windows Defender. It's one of the most challenging steps in setting up a reverse shell connection on your target machine. I'll show you how I did it in under 5 minutes with some simple steps. You can also try this on your own computer to learn how it works. However, here's the thing. You do not have the right to hack anyone for any reason. Please test this only on your own computer to learn ethical hacking and cybersecurity. This video is for educational purposes only, and nobody's rights were violated in the making of this video. I am not responsible for any misuse of this information. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and watch the video till the end. So, let's get into the video soon. First, I have my payload right here, which enables us to remotely control target machines. You can create this in under 5 minutes by watching this video. The problem is that we can't directly run this executable file because Windows Defender blocks it. However, if we take a quick look at the Windows Defender settings, there's an option called Add Exclusions for different paths. If we add an exclusion for a specific folder, and run our payload inside that folder, Windows Defender won't block it because it doesn't monitor what happens in an excluded folder. To achieve this, we will use Windows PowerShell to perform our task. I wrote a PowerShell script for this. Here's how it works. First I will upload my executable file to external cloud storage. Then my PowerShell script will exclude the downloads folder from Windows Defender, because it's a common path for all Windows machines. Next, it will download the payload into that excluded path from the cloud storage and then run the payload. Windows Defender won't block the payload because it is executed inside an excluded path. Now we need to upload our executable file to cloud storage and paste its download link here. I am using JataCloud for this. First, sign up and then upload your file. Get the shareable link to that file. Paste that link into your browser and go to the file. Now, right click on the download button and copy the URL. This will give you the direct download link to our payload. If you paste this direct download link in your browser, your payload should start downloading. Since this URL is quite long, now I am going to shorten the URL using a URL shortener. Check that the shortened link works by entering it in your browser. Now, I will open my PowerShell script and replace the URL here. I'll run Windows PowerShell as administrator and execute this script. You can see that the connection was received successfully. If you have a keystroke injection tool like a USB rubber ducky, you can bypass Defender by executing this script in Windows PowerShell. But if you don't have one, no need to worry. I have created an undetectable image using the same strategy. In the next video, I will teach you how to create this using some simple steps. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Goodbye for now.